And one of the few female diplomats to have served as the U.S. ambassador to Nigeria has ended her four-year tenure as Nigeria looks forward to inaugurating a new president in weeks. Mary Beth Leonard has described the February the 25th presidential election as dramatic, with a twist in states across the country, and she's hoping Nigerians appreciate the positives of the electoral process. Sarah Yeku has more. The four-year journey as the United States ambassador to Nigeria for Miss Mary Beth Leonard comes to an end with this solemn but lively farewell. She is one of the many to have served as a diplomat for more than a decade in Africa. What doesn't change about Nigeria is how unbelievably warm and welcoming and, and engaging its people are. I think the biggest thing that, that surprised me living here full time, and it's going to sound like an offhanded compliment, but I meet it in the most wonderful way, you discover how much Nigerians love to debate and to argue. And that when they're done debating and arguing, everybody is still buddies and you go on. And So I think it's part of what has made me feel so at home here and, and having all these fabulous exchanges with uh, Nigerians. Nigerian citizens, uh, business people, government, it's been a pleasure and an honor. A tenure ends after a keenly contested presidential election, and as Nigeria ushers in a new administration in May 29. Uh, elections were a very dramatic time. Uh, it, was a, it was a real contest and there are some people who are very happy about the way things have turned out. There are some people who are frustrated or have some concerns. But what I would really like for Nigerians to take away from this experience is um, how many positive things came out of this election, right? I mean, this was a competition like never before. Think about the larger environment in which you live in West Africa, where there are people who are, you know, standing up for coups or for third termisms. And there's this wonderful acceptance of the rules of the game in, Ni in Nigeria and a sense that the last elections change the terms of the debate to be a much more open and competitive system. I hope that all Nigerians take a sense of pride at what an incredibly developed and mature democracy, how much your evolution um, has come uh, over since, uh, since 1999. It's really something to be proud of. Serenading other diplomats, Nigerian government officials and members of the United States Government Exchange Alumni Association with the Blue Bossa, Lily Song and Bossa Bossa from T Mark. It was thrilling to listen to Yinka Davis's voice honor the outgoing ambassador. He has a passion for West for Africa and especially for the Nigerian people. She brings that passion to her love of Nigerian fashion, Nigerian food, and, and it's uh, it's contagious. It rubs off on all of us. And so that's what we're going to miss uh, most about her expertise and that enthusiasm she had for engaging Nigeria. We're going to miss uh, Mary Beth, and by we, I mean myself and the community of women um, that are with me. And um, by the community of women, I mean the Academy for Women Entrepreneurs um, community. She is, she has been a major support for that program. And we miss her already. We miss her so much, but we are happy for her that she's moving on, you know, to do other things. But we, like she said, she'll be coming back in, in other capacities to Africa, maybe even to Nigeria. The highlights of achievement in Nigeria are contributions to improving healthcare, visa waivers, arts and culture exchange. Sarah Ayeku, TVC News, Lagos.